So about a week ago, DJI released a new firmware update for the DJI Fly app version 1.2.2. Uh, with that came a couple new features, so we're going to get into that. Also, uh, they released a, uh, firmware updates for the aircrafts, um, including the DJI Mini 2 and the DJI uh, Mavic Air 2. So uh, we'll briefly cover that as well. So stick around and we'll get right into it. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, this DJI Fly update version 1.2.2 is available on iOS devices as of right now, uh, but is not available on Android devices. However, if you do want to download it uh, right now, you would have to go to the DJI Download Center and then download the APK from there. I will leave a link in the description below. So what's new in this app? Uh, DJI has added a compass indicator which displays the orientation and the attitude of uh, the aircraft. In addition, we now have the functionality to program the buttons to toggle between uh, FPV mode and follow mode, uh, the camera settings, and uh, locking and unlocking the exposure. And lastly, it fixed some of the bug issues uh, that were seen in the previous uh, version. All right, so for this demonstration, I will be using the DJI Mini 2. So let me get everything hooked up and we'll get it up in the air. All right, so I have everything hooked up and here is the updated version of the DJI Fly app. And if you tap on the, <coughs> the map here in the lower left-hand corner, You'll see it looks a little different, and if you to tap on the lower left-hand corner of the, the map there, you'll see that it'll come up with a compass. Now, the compass um, indicator, um, it tells you which way uh, your heading is, and uh, if I turn it around here, you can see that it's facing north, and also uh, it indicates where your home point is and where the remote is. So right here, uh, the blue dot there is the remote, location of the remote. And as you can see, the H there in yellow is the location of the home point. Now, some uh, people may uh, think that this is not that useful, but uh, I believe it's useful, especially when you're flying out a little bit um, further distance. and um, you want to know what the aircraft is doing. So if you're a little ways out and the wind shift, um, you may be able to tell uh, which direction uh, the wind is coming from. Uh, so you can uh, make adjustments and uh, make a decision if you just want to uh, return back or continue on with your flight. So as far as the attitude indicator, as you can see, I'm, I'm turning it to the uh, right and you can see the little hash uh, marks there tilt to the right. As I tilt it to the left, it tilts left. And if I uh, pitch backwards, it goes down. And if I pitch forward, it goes up. All right, so let's put this up in the air. All right, so we have the Mavic Mini, or the DJI Mini 2. Right now, I'm over the home point. And then you can see where I am underneath the gazebo uh, where the remote is. So I'm going to take it all the way up. Now it's a little breezy today, so uh, this should work out pretty good. Now I do suggest uh, doing a compass calibration if you're changing locations or if you're fly flying into a different location than previously. Uh, go ahead and do a compass calibration. I had went ahead and did it before uh, I even, you know, started recording. So, um, but yeah, to get this a little bit more accurate, um, yeah, just go ahead and do a compass calibration. So as you can see, as I'm rotating, um, I'm facing north right now, and you can see the hash hashes here in the middle, uh, leaning to the left just a little bit. That's an indication of which direction the wind is coming from. Uh, so, it so it should be coming from my left. So I'm going to go ahead and push full stick forward. All 
I'm going to roll left. And then I'm going to roll right. And then I'm just going to go backwards. And you can see how the indicator uh, reacts. All right, so uh, some people may not see this as useful, but I, I definitely see it see it useful. You know, like I mentioned before, uh, it's definitely useful when you have it out there a little ways and you want to see exactly what the aircraft is doing and how it's behaving in the, the wind. So I'm going to take it out here just a little bit here. Not too far. Maybe 500 feet. Maybe a little more. It's a little windy out here today. So I'm not going to do too much. And what I want to do is demonstrate the photo mode. So from here, I'm just going to switch over to photo. And I'm in manual mode right now, so I'm going to switch over to auto. And I'm not going to, I'm just taking photos just for a demonstration. So as you can see here, right next to the shutter button, you see the uh, one times, tap that. You can uh, zoom in two times. And that's the maximum you can do. You can also uh, long press it and scroll in and out. And then, but the method I normally use is just holding on to the function button and using the uh, gimbal wheel um, and zooming in and out with that. All right. So uh, on the Mavic Air 2, I'm not sure if that's available. Uh, I did take a look at the Mavic Air 2 as well, and I didn't see it on there. So this is one thing that the uh, Mini 2 has that the Mavic Air 2 doesn't is a zoom feature on the photo. So, um, so I'm going to take a couple photos. And I'm going to zoom in. Take another photo. And take a photo of the landscape here. Zoomed in. Switch back to video mode. And we're going to bring it on home. cold out here. All right, so that's it. Just a quick little video. I uh, just wanted to show you the update that just came out for the DJI Fly app version 1.2.2. And also, uh, like I said, there has been a couple of updates or firmware updates for the aircrafts for the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2. So um, is this useful? Is this uh, one little feature or a couple little features useful to you? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So if you like this video or if you found it useful, uh, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, also, if you like this type of content, uh, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Uh, but until next time, guys, you fly safe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Cold this month.